Hello, today we'll be talking about Shakespeare. He was a poet, a playwright, and an actor. We don't know a lot about him because he wasn't born to a rich or noble family. So um, there wasn't a lot of documents on him at first. And I kind of like that because I think that relates to a lot of us more because we're not, the majority of America is uh, middle class. So we know, we don't know exactly when he was born, but we know that it was around April 26th. It was because that's when he was baptized and um, usually back then, after you, a couple days after you were born, you got baptized. He had a big family, seven brothers and sisters. He lived in Stratford and worked in London, which London was um, where all, basically all the actors went to work. He wrote 37 plays and he was friends with the Queen Elizabeth when he was alive. Um, he married... Anne Hathaway, she was 26 and he was 18, so good job, William. You got a cougar. He lived during the Renaissance era. He was affiliated with Lord Chamberlain's men. His son, Hamnet, died at 11. Um, some people assume that Anne and William had a hard marriage um, because of that and many different things. King Lear, which is a play that he wrote, was banished from English stage for making fun of the monarchy, which I really liked. It showed that he was kind of a rebel, which some of us can relate to. William Shakespeare has invented a lot of words that we use in modern society today, and here are just some of them. Some of them. Assassination, assassination, birthplace, gossip, luggage, moonbeam, cold-blooded, living room. He would write these plays, create these words, and no one would really know what they meant, so he would have to make footnotes or, like, his own kind of dictionary to um, explain the words. Here are some other phrases that he has come up with. Uh, All's well that ends well, break the ice, refuse to budge an inch, catch a cold, come what may, dead as a doornail, elbow room, and faint hearted. So I wanted to show you, I know it's really hard to read Shakespeare, and so it's kind of like a different language, and so this is called No Fear Shakespeare. It's a website, yeah, it's Sparkner. Um, my teacher allowed me to use it, so this is uh, King Lear, and what happens is on this side is the original Shakespearean text, and on this side is a translated version of it, and so I thought that was really cool, and it's helped me out a lot.